What's like what's sort of the strangest audition you had to do as a, as a young man? The strangest audition. I'll give oh, you an ex oh. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an What's example. Yours? Let's make yeah. this about me for a second. Okay, good. Okay. I'd love to. Because when I was younger, I was in Chicago as an actor, could not get arrested, like absolutely mm -hmm. couldn't get any work. And uh, but I there was a very few things shot in Chicago. One thing was called um, I can't remember the name of the show, but there was a flashback in it where somebody had been in World War I and had met young Hitler. And so I was called into audition for young Hitler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, I don't know, it's just me. I feel like you did a great job. <laughs> I, 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 really, I don't know, I see it. You, I, I mean that in the nicest way possible, yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing, is like, what do you do? Do you show up as Hitler? Like, yeah, like, like in character? Do you, yeah, do you yeah. Yeah. Meryl Streep it and stuff your body with, you know, anti-Semitism and then walk in. Yeah. Uh, and so I they're like, now I'm just gonna go as myself. Right. I'm just gonna go as myself and just yeah, act. Use yourself. I, yeah. Act it. I walk in, I walk into the room, there's a long kind of shotgun hallway. There are 20 other guys. I know all of them because there's a small theater community there. I know all of them and, and they all have dressed up as Hitler. <laughs> and they've all got their sides in their hands like this. And as I walk in, 20 Hitlers do this. <laughs> And I turned around and I walked out. Yeah, and I went, yeah, I'm not yeah, going to yeah. be. It's not going to go. I, it's not going to be me today. It's not going to be me well, today. So, the, uh, one of my strangest, I was, uh, was on my mind the other day because uh, Milos Forman died recently. Yes, yes. And he is a great film director. And I got to screen test for him once. And it was, uh, you remember they had made Dangerous Liaisons. Mm -hmm. And Milos Forman, he directed one for the Cuckoo's Nest. Ragtime. Ha Ragtime, Hair. Yep. Um, it, Amadeus. He, at this point in his life, he pretty much, I think he very recently had won the Oscar for Amadeus. And so he was extremely important. And I was very nervous. And it was the old days where they really had a camera. And I had full costume, sword. You know, because it was a, Dangerous Liaisons is based on a book. It's a play based on a book, and the book is called Valmont, and he was making a movie of Valmont. And it was a little weird because Dangerous Liaisons had just happened, but who cares? And I came in, and I had to seduce Annette Benning, who I'd never seen in anything. You know, she was just this young actress. And she was there. She was there, and she was dressed in makeup, and she was amazing and beautiful. And Milos Forman would say to me, he would say, you are seducing her like an American. I don't like it. Americans are cool, but they're tense. The French are tense, but cool. <laughs> and I want tense and cool. Not cool and tense, right? And so- Did you I, know what he meant? No fucking idea, <laughs> all right? And, uh, and so I had my sword, and I would, I would go up to Annette Benning, you know, and hello, Lady Dauphine, such a, you know, and, and, and he would go, tense! And I'd be like, <laughs> no, tense, but cool, not cool, but tense. And, and, uh, and then at the end of this take, he said, come to me in 10 years. Goodbye. Holy you know, shoot. But to his credit, about 10 years later, he called me up to audition for another movie, a movie that didn't end up getting made. And I worked so hard. It was a scene where a husband and wife are fighting. But at this time now, my first audition, I was about 18. It was right around Dead Poets Society, and, and so I was about 18. So now I'm, it, I'm about 25, right? And I'm, it's a scene as a husband and wife who are having a major domestic argument. And we worked all day on this scene. It was a seven-page scene. He gave me direction. Except I was 25, and they were just 40-year-old problems. You know, I didn't, it was very strange. And at the end of the day, I said, I'm sorry, I, I, I feel like um, I definitely failed at it, uh, what you wanted. And he said, no, it was magnificent. You're not gonna get the part. He said, <laughs> and he said, the tr he said, the truth is, I wanna show this footage to the guy I cast. Be <laughs> because he's gonna cast a guy who's 45, but he wants him to act like a 25-year-old. And so he, it was wow. fascinating, right? I said, I wish you told me before I worked so hard. But, <laughs> but he said, if I told you before, you wouldn't have worked so hard. So, and he's right. Yes. Yeah. True genius. Well, they say true genius steals. 
Well, and and he stole your performance and gave it to somebody else. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. it never got made. It never got made. So, uh -huh. nah. <laughs> <laughs> should have cast Ethan Hawke. Is yeah, what he should have done. It.